wanting to run before we can call. You can't sell anything that is not of high quality, not globally, not internationally. I think that really is the crux of the matter. When you're talking about this, if you talked just a little while ago about a demo, it's the way it's done. You think you have talent. Notice what I said. You think you have talent. You make a demo. In humility, you hop it about and say to somebody, listen to this for me. But from what I'm hearing, we already started from the fact that we know we are genius. We are going to go too far away. Because how many people believe in your genius? Now, that is not to say that you are not geniuses. I think we are genius. We are divine. And <laughs> news for you. The divine is infinite perfection, infinite knowledge, infinite humility, infinite overcoming, infinite, infinite, infinite power. So, first of all, it really is irrelevant whether it's gospel or secular music. Let's tap on our divinity on our genius. We seem not to be individually, whether in this industry, whether in my industry, in entertainment generally, and in the country. And really that's what ails this country. And it really doesn't matter how much blessings God gives on us. If you're not really capable of picking up that conflict and running with it, you ain't going to make much work of it. And that's what's happening with us. So if you have a talent, and I, I'm always saying that a talent is like, like a piece of diamond. It's a piece of glass. Okay? Nature has put it there. It's worth nothing to anybody until somebody picks it up, shakes it washes it, polishes it. Men care for it, and women sell themselves for it. That's what, that's what I see as talent. We are not polishing our own glass. And that's about what I want to say here. You know, I've been going for a long time. Why, I'm sorry to bring myself into this to make it personal now. Why do you think I've been going along? Because I'm painted? You are. <laughs> Thank you. <Okay. laughs> <laughs> but so are you guys. So are all of us. You've got to recognize your own genius. And I don't mean in an arrogant, silly, stupid way of thinking and the best thing since sliced bread, actually. My husband thought I was the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> I see where it got me. <laughs> <laughs> but he thought that. Note, he thought that. I didn't. I didn't know who I was. Mm. Do you know that? I'm an accidental actor. I'm an accidental artist, full stop. I would just like you to speak on this uh, music workshop today. We've talked a lot about uh, eternal uh, music, eternal songs. We've talked about the need for uh, entertainment artists to be like a brand, also the business case of music. In summary, what's your word for especially the young generation? It is important for the young generation artists to learn their trade, to learn the technical part of that. As we said, learn an instrument and learn lyricists. To know that to be a good lyricist, lyricist, you really have to be a poet. Learn to write, that means read. Study music, study other composers, study the work they've done, and read, read, read. You know, and not just depend on our own experiences. 
I, our own experiences are valid and they are very important. But also we, we, are, uh, uh, we, are, we are members of this world, a global village they say it is, and therefore know what's going on all over uh, the world. And I, I don't mean all the rubbish that's going on all over the world, but the wonderful things that will make this world stand and make and build our country and build the morale of our people. And not just uh, you say shake my bottom, you I shake your bottom and all that nonsense. Not from any moral grounds, not because I am old and I think it's immoral to do that. But it's because it shows the bankruptcy of ideas. It means we don't have anything else in our head because we have all sorts of things that are ailing us, that are worrying us in this country. And if we cannot wake up in the morning and have ideas about how to solve our problems, to give, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to, to think creatively and originally about how we can change our country, except uh, you take my money and I take your money and I, see I, I, wake, I work my pom-pom. I mean, you, you just listen to how silly and how inane that is.